Welcome to the White Horse Hotel in fabulous Rottingdean, home of the post-qualification pathway course for Alexander Technique teachers. This is a course that's accredited by the Open College Network and will earn you academically recognised qualifications. In this course we're going to explore new ways of deepening your Alexander skills, expand your creativity in your very own research project, extend your comfort zone a little bit and explore new reflective practice skills and you'll enjoy the company of a like-minded peer group as you embark upon this post-qualification pathway. So this is Rotting Dean, wild wild weather, that's Camel jumping on the rocks, getting a bit of air, a bit of oxygen in the brain to uh, offset all the work that we're doing. I found this course very interesting and I took it on because I had wanted to do something to energise my teaching after having qualified over 10 years ago and having had huge amounts of time taken up with being chair of STAT. And after stepping down for that I really wanted to make time to do something for myself and something about the technique. And I found this really inspired me to look at things in a slightly different light and reflect on some of the stuff I had done in the past and take it forward and coming out of a business background I really wanted to look at how this could be made compatible with mainstream business and it's been very inspiring so thank you Carolyn. The course consists of five units of study each with a series of learning outcomes that express aspects of our professional practice. The unit on teaching skills deals with analysing and assessing a new pupil's needs for their lessons with you. Well, I found the concept of reflective practice really useful and interesting through this weekend, and it's not something that I had done in this way, although I have journaled in the past, but the useful aspects of separating simple observation without trying to draw any conclusions from that, but just saying, well, what did we notice? Uh, through a certain activity or experience. Firstly, observing, and then either straight away or at a later time coming back and highlighting the key themes that have just come out to you when you look at your observations. And from those highlights, then just exploring what they're saying to you has been very beneficial. I think for me that's particularly helped when you tend to have a mind that has thinks of lots and lots of things and ideas and thoughts and analysis all at the same time to be able to separate those stages of thinking and to be able to get from that useful insights that aren't necessarily apparent at the first examination. The self-directed research project is about exploring your passion in an Alexander Technique context. You are tutored and mentored for this but it is your work. The project is 30 credits that's the equivalent of 300 hours of study. Here's that I have done a really in-depth um, research study, which I had no idea how to do. And um, I've learned a tremendous amount from the discipline that I've had to apply to myself in order to do it. I've learned a huge amount about the subject that I chose. I've also learned a huge amount about um, us as Alexander teachers and I think the thing that stru has struck me most from perhaps the whole process is that we as Alexander teachers has, have so much of such value to offer. This is the kind of food that we eat on the OCN when we get together. <laughs> um, yeah, I learned a lot about how you research things which sparked me on regarding marketing in particular, although the project didn't really turn out to be about marketing. Um, and I really enjoyed the reflective diary, for instance. Do you remember we talked a little bit about um, comparing how Stephen had taken his specialisation to a very high level and China had taken her specialisation to a very high level. So you were doing a little bit of analysis of what those skills were that they, they yeah. had. And did you and did that get onto the that? end? Great. And so I did the comparison of specialisation skills. So Good. I compared it to Pilates and yoga because um, yeah. my friend is a Pilates instructor. Mm. Yeah. I'm not sure if... Well, and I tried to you, compare it. What did you it. find? Um, and it says 
the, the reason why people in these comparative disciplines are specialised is because that is why the clients are coming. That's I think the opportunity to do a project, and in my case with respect to education, how we can bring the Alexander Technique into mainstream education in the UK, <coughs> has meant that I've dedicated time to really exploring a subject that maybe I'd thought of intermittently over the years, oh that's where the Alexander Technique should be, but I hadn't thought in depth about how one should do it. and. This opportunity has really made me make a huge amount of progress in that area that I simply wouldn't have done probably if I hadn't had the um, structure and encouragement of the OCN course. I just wanted to say I think that Carolyn's been very good about all this and it's very interesting how t different teams have emerged from the work we've been doing and how sort of careful she is to you know, do it in sequence so the teams can emerge so nothing is rushed. Everything takes its time and it's all planned out beautifully. Thanks, Carolyn.